In this video, we'll be discussing about the estrogen signaling pathway. This pathway mediates the expression of estrogen response to genes on DNA, aka ERE, that's estrogen response to element. We see in this pathway the signaling molecule is the estrogen molecule, like we have estradiol E2. And for this signaling molecule or ligand molecule, we have the receptor, that's estrogen receptor, which are of two types nuclear estrogen receptor and membrane estrogen receptor. In nuclear estrogen receptor, we have ER alpha and ER beta, that's estrogen receptor alpha and estrogen receptor beta. Both are intracellular receptors. And in case of membrane estrogen receptors, we have GPER, ERX and GQMER. Furthermore, we have another molecule, that's HSP90 molecule, that's also involved in this pathway. This HSP90 interacts with unliganded estrogen receptor and keeps the receptor from dimerization. So we can say it keeps the receptor in its inactive state. Now let's get directly to the signaling pathway and see how signaling pathway is being mediated. And one thing to remember here is that we are going to see the signaling through intracellular receptors. Here in this diagram we can see the cell membrane and within the cell we have the nuclear membrane and in the nucleus we can see the DNA with ERE, that's estrogen response to element, which we have to turn on for transcription. And within the cytoplasm we have the estrogen receptor monomers as shown in the diagram, in the form of ER alpha, ER beta. And these ER receptors are bound by HSP90 molecules as shown in the animation. And with the binding of HSP90 molecules with the estrogen receptor, these receptor molecules remain in the monomeric form. That means these receptors remain inactive. Now to drive the signaling pathway, we have the estrogen molecules outside of the cell as shown in the diagram, which upon signaling process gets into the cell and binds with the ER monomers. And this estrogen binding with the receptors mediates the removal of HSP90 molecules from the receptors as shown in the animation. Once estrogen receptor monomers are free of HSP90, the dimerization process begins. While we get the dimerization of ER receptors as shown in the animation. Either we form the homodimers as ER alpha, ER alpha, or we form the heterodimers as ER alpha and ER beta. Both can drive the pathway. So now, we have the active dimer of estrogen receptor. And this receptor dimer gets into the nucleus where it binds the DNA molecule, as shown in the animation. And there are some things to remember. Like in this diagram, we have the functional domains of estrogen receptor alpha and estrogen receptor beta. We can see where the activation factor domain 1, DNA binding domain, HSP binding domain, activation factor binding domain 2, and terminal domain. The DNA binding domain aids in binding the receptor with DNA. And upon this binding of active receptor with DNA, it drives the transcription of estrogen response to genes, which eventually will translate into the functional proteins. So this is the brief outlook of estrogen signaling pathway. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.